everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and I have my mom on the show today, Ingrid Turner. Hi. And we're baking up a storm as usual with mom in the kitchen. <laughs> mom loves to bake and so we're going to let her do what she loves to do. <laughs> now we have made some gorgeous uh, Grandma Casper's peach stolen today. And sometimes when you're done using a pastry crust, a pie crust, uh, the dough, you have some extra left and we never waste it. So mom is going to use the scraps, but you could use a whole full batch of your pie crust to make these. Now mom is making a gorgeous pocket pie, I guess it's an apple peach pocket pie, mm -hmm. and uh, she's going to take it away. Okay, no problem. So here's how big we have left today, but if you want to use your whole uh, pie crust disc, go right ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. roll it out to about what, quarter inch thick? Eighth of, an, eighth of an inch thick. What about the? Okay. Make sure you have adequate bench flour and flour on your rolling pin as well. While mom is rolling this out, I'll explain. Mom has cut a beautiful little Macintosh apple. You can use any kind of apple you like. She put a little bit of sugar in there and a little bit of uh, thickener. Now you can use tapioca, you can use cornstarch, or you can use flour. I think there's a little mixture of everything in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we've used our peaches, so we're using a beautiful peach freezer jam that we made. Make sure you check out that recipe for how to do that. Or you can just use fresh peaches sliced. Mom has such beautiful pastry. Man, the pies that she's been making lately, out of this world. That pie crust is crazy good. Yeah, that's pretty good. If you're looking for the recipe on how to make pie crust, mom's pie crust, you can check that recipe out. Um, if there's a show for it, as well as the recipe on the website, written out. Okay, so mom has formed this into a square. And I would say it's about 10 inches mm -hmm. by 10 inches. Okay? Mm -hmm. About that time. Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of peach jam underneath the filling. This is our freezer peach jam, and it's really delicious. <laughs> and then I'm going to put the filling apples on that top. Good, Mom. Okay, so I will I dampen the edges, and I'm just going to lift up the corners them together. Take this one, bring that up. So she's just closing it up like you would a present when you're wrapping a gift. Mm -hmm. Bring them up, pinch those, pinch those corners together. And now we have only a little bit of scraps left. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a good one. It looks like a pocket pie. That would fit <laughs> in my pocket. I'm going to uh, sprinkle some um, sugar on top of this. Okay, sprinkling sugar on the top. We have our oven preheated to 425 degrees on convection. How long do you think it'll take in there, Mom? 10 minutes. 10 minutes, mm -hmm. now we're gonna start with, Mom just poked a couple holes in there to make sure that the steam connects it. Mm -hmm. We need to put it on a pan. Again, if you can't find parchment, make sure you check out our store. We have all kinds of cool things like that you may not find everywhere else. You don't have to be fancy with the parchment, however it comes off. I'm going to show this to you guys before we throw it in. It's a beautiful job, Mom. There. So you can make a whole batch of these guys if you wanted They're to. They're good, too. <laughs> there you go. So that she's just uh, wrapped it up kind of like a present. There you go. It's nice and rustic. I love that because then you know it's home baked. Okay, these have gone for 10 minutes plus an extra three because we thought it just needed a little extra. Mm -hmm. They're ready. It's ready. Are you satisfied with that? I am. You are. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me show it to them. Here's our little baked up pocket pie. Ooh boy. That's mm -hmm. going to be good. Now, now, we can't eat this right now because it's hotter than a son of a gun. You have to let this cool completely before you eat it. So we're going to actually transfer it to a little cooling rack. Ever so gently. It should release easily from this parchment. Gorgeous. Good job, Mom. Nothing goes to waste. No. So you guys are going to see us later when we test it. That'll be our little midnight snack, maybe. Yep. <laughs> All right, we just finished dinner, and boy, was it good. Mm -hmm. We're ready for some pie. Make sure you check out the recipe for our fabulous dinner we had, how to cook spaghetti and meatballs with tomato sauce. Classic dish, beautiful. So we have, this is nice and cooled, and I wanted to show you how cool this is. So we called it pocket pie, and it actually looks like 
a pocket on the back of your jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. How beautiful. Oh boy. You ready? Mm -hmm. I don't think I need work. This is like a tasty little mm, tidbit. I know. Mm. <laughs> mm. Cheers, Mom. Cheers, We've been having all kinds of tasty tidbits today. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. That's a nice combination. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit jazzier than just apple mm -hmm. or just peach. Mm. Mm -hmm. Perfect for dessert mm. with your coffee or tea. It'll be wonderful for breakfast, which I'm sure some of it will be. I can taste the peach jam in there. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh boy, what a treat. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And it's gone. Mm -hmm. Boy, that was good. And we got to lose, uh, use all the little stuff that was left over. That's <laughs> right. So whether you're making a whole full recipe <clears throat> of all just those little beautiful pockets, or whether you're just using the final scraps from a pie crust or whatever, don't waste it. There's always things you can do with it. Mm -hmm. Throw it in the oven for 10, 15 minutes and you're good to go. Right. All is well. I and mean, then you have a tasty little treat for later. Or you could have just cut it into strips and throw it into hot oil, a little bit of hot oil, and they'll just puff up. And the paste, crispy. just the pastry crust. Mm -hmm. They'll puff up. Yeah. Yes. No apples, no peach in there. Yeah, <laughs> just plain. And then sprinkle that with um, icing. icing sugar. Mm -hmm. So tasty. Anyhow, that's how you do it. That's how you make apple peach. Pie pockets. Pocket pie. It was delicious. Yeah. It was what very a nice good. dessert. And that's baking with mom. Make sure you check out mom's website at ingridturnertoday.com. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly and YouTube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. And now you can check me out on Roku. Make sure you go to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com. That's it, that's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Bye-bye.